Yeah, let's set up some textures now uh, for an amp wave here. Uh, the thing we're going to go for is uh, textures like this. So these will basically work on the Colbidol out of the box, um, these ones. So this is kind of what we're going to be going for with the Parallax one. And if we want to do Hypno one, uh, this is what we'd be going for with the Hypno one. And this is the overlay texture here, and this is the Parallax one, right? So this is kind of what we're going for. Uh, if we put this on the uh, amp wave here, see that it's uh, not right at all. Uh, both of these are not right. Uh, this one, I'll set the centers to be, but as you can see, there's there's no, no texture there at all. So we're gonna set both of these up. And the um, main problem here is just that the, uh, the texture isn't lined up with the UVs of the eye. And we there's two ways of doing this really. Um, one way is to uh, open up the texture that you want to line up and also open up the default eye texture of the model you're working with. So for this one, uh, we'd use um, this texture. So let's open both of these up in a text editor. So I'm just going to use Krita. So that's amp wave eyes. And let's go find the, uh, the hearts uh, over here and load them up in a new layer. Okay. So first off, the sizes are just wrong, uh, but that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to line these up. So I'm not sure which one is the left or the right eye, but we'll find that out. And it doesn't really matter that much. So we're just going to line these two up, first of all, and then hide the background. Then uh, save as a... a Save as a new PNG and find it in Unity. Now, also, if, if you're working with a transparent texture, I recommend setting alpha's transparency as that might solve some issues. But it's rather that what would cause issues. But now let's drag this into the overlay texture and ba bam. It's, uh, it's exactly what we expect it to be. Now we can tweak this a little bit. Maybe I want these to a little bit to the side. Just a tiny bit. Now save them. Yeah, that's better. There we go. So that's one way of doing it. Um, in case you don't have um a texture like this, or it's not very useful for your um base model, what you can also do is open up your base model in Blender, and um, export basically. Uh something that looks like this, like this kind of wireframe. And the way you do that is, well, first of all, go into the UV editing tag, then go into the edit mode, uh, so select your mesh and go into edit mode by pressing control tab. Uh, and then uh, click on both the eyes and press L or hover over both eyes and press L rather. Uh, and you will have these two things. So like, make sure, make sure this arrow isn't on by the way, or else you'll get this giant mess, right? Um, so just make sure that these two things are shown. Two, two big eyes. You can go into the uh, UV tab up here and export UV layout. And you're going to want to make sure that your fill opacity is set to one or else you're not going to see anything. And then export the UV layout. And this might take a bit depending on the size selected. So should be it. But now if I set body and there we go. So you can use this as a reference point as well. As you can see, that lines up pretty well. Yeah, so you're, you're going to want to do this for, um, you're going to want to do this for like Polar, 1D, or Parallax. They use the same concept. And, and, and if like, if your Parallax looks weird, um, Parallax just looks completely off, uh, you're going to want to do this. Like, in fact, let's just do that. Um, a texture we're using for Parallax. Using this guy. So let's open this up in Krita as a layer uh since this is not alpha blended we can just do this might need to resize these 
honestly, it's it's fine that we're cutting up these like this. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and then we can hide all the other ones. Save as. And then if we go here and set texture to this. It's almost right. And this this to me looks like we've got um uh sortion fixes for Dawn with a uh, length thresholding, so we just want to bump that up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And if we if we don't like how small this is, well, we can just open up one of the uh, reference points that we have. Honestly, what we can do is we can also uh, color to alpha, set that to be that, and set like a threshold of like I don't know four or something, eight, ten, no twenty. That's good enough. Not the best, but it'll it'll do the job. So now we have a transparent thing. That's, it'll make us make things a bit easier. And actually, instead of selecting these individually, we can just scale the whole layer. Like that. Then reposition them. I'm going to I'm going to move them a little bit to the side cuz I like them more. Like that. Oh, whoops, I saved it with uh with these. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, that's bad. Let's not do that. Let's hide the um the reference layer. Save and yeah, now they're bigger. So, that's how you um that's how you set up the textures and uh we can also even Set these to be alpha masks. So now colors are a little bit more cleared since we're not additively blending each one of them. Yeah, that's how you do that.